Hi everyone. So today's look is sort of um, kind of a dark uh, but summery kind of Arabic inspired uh, turquoise eye with like sort of a bronze tannish crease and then we have sort of just flush pink tones on the lower half of the face. In this tutorial I am using a lot of discontinued MAC, a lot of MAC um, I'm aiming to hit pan in, and, but I'll be naming dupes along the way. Anytime I don't name a dupe I will try to go around and annotate it. The colors in this tutorial will be common however. I'll be naming uh, MAC dupes if you're interested, but I'll also be naming cruelty-free dupes all through the video. So I think it's super important to use what you got, and that's also why I, there are certain, I don't know, shades and products I don't own from other brands, it's because I do have tons of colors, and I'd like to use those up and get my money's worth. So yeah, enough of the intro. Let's enjoy the tutorial. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this pigment. This came out last year with Alice and Olivia around, I believe around th uh, this time. Yeah, a little around this time. Maybe a little earlier in the month of June. Um, but it's just a tealy, turquoisey, bright pigment. You can get any um, eyeshadow this shade. Um, I know for a fact that Sugar Pill has a beautiful turquoise color, and I'll annotate the turquoises around. The crumblists are very inexpensive and they would be the equivalent of this. Now I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk Bamboo Chic Handle Brush. If you like to have this particular pigment, I know the Makeup Geek website has a tendency to sell samples. Now I'm just going to pat that all over the lid. If you're wondering how it compares to teal pigment from MAC, it's not teal. It's more, it's like a blue turquoise. I own, I own MAC's teal pigment, it's more green. This almost reminds me of Sugar Pills After Party. And then I'm just going to sort of contour the lid with the chisel of that brush. Now I'm going to take a little bit of MAC's Sand and Sun. This came out with MAC to the Beach. It's um, just literally kind of like ABC gum from MAC, or from Urban Decay, sorry. But any sort of light, pretty peachy color will do. And we're just going to go ahead and Place that in the crease. And sort of blend it out. I really don't want a super dramatic or heavy transition shade, so that's why I'm going for this color versus my normal um, brown color. MAC Soft Brown would also be nice if you want something with a little bit more brown in it. That one's also got an orangey undertone. I know a lot of people are, hate Soft Brown, but I actually think it's really pretty. The Urban Decay Naked Palette also has a couple nice matte browns. Naked's also sold individual. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Max Orb, which is literally just like ABC um, gum, but a little lighter. You can also take the Wet n Wild uh, Vanity Palette. And we're just going to place this as a brow highlight. Speaking of brows, I kind of hope that you like sort of the eyebrow shape I'm kind of working with. 
right now I'm kind of going for something more natural. I felt, more recently I felt that they're getting a little over stenciled, so. I'm going to take a little bit of Max um, Folly. It's just a sort of red and brown. There's a red and brown in the Wet n Wild Vanity palette. Um, I've already hit pan on this baby and I'd like to be able to keep on going and hit and pan on it some more. So we're just going to use a little bit of that since I'm looking to use a neutral anyways. And now that I've placed that color by just sort of pulling back my lid gently, I'm now going to relax the eye and just sort of blend that in. I'm just going to back pedal through my outer crease. Kind of like pedal in and pedal out, go over it a million times. Sort of just give it that very soft, almost like airbrushed, blended look. I'm gonna dare to go fairly close to the brow bone, which is okay by me as long as it looks very blended out. And just sort of flick it in. I'm going to take a little bit of Max Crystal Avalanche, which is just a shimmery white. You can take Wet n Wild's Sugar or Inglot's number, um, I believe it's number 453. I'll have the right number annotated. Numbers aren't my um, favorite buddy. I'm just going to go ahead and place that in the very arch of the brow bone. I'm going to take a little bit more of that. If you feel that frost is detracting away from the look, you can go without. It'll be really pretty without it as well. It really just depends on what you like. If you don't like white or, or frost, then I wouldn't go for Crystal Avalanche or any of its lookalikes. So, the one place I actually would put it is in the inner tear duct at least. Now, I never owned Carbon or Black. Uh, I did have Black Tide back to Mac. It was old. Um, but you could take any sort of frosty or shimmery or matte black you enjoy. And I'm going to be taking a little bit of Urban Decay Zero. You don't need all these uh, shades. Not going to use anything in here. So we're just going to place a little bit of that in the outer corner. I'm going to take a little bit of Max Raven. This came out with Lovelace. It's no longer available, but if you're interested in buying from um, Max still, you can go ahead and get Costa Riche. That's a great dupe. Teddy's a little bit more um, soft, normal brown. This is a red and brown. It'll work with the Folly. So we're just going to place that on the waterline. You could also take Urban Decay's 24-7 liner in bourbon or whiskey. I don't think neither one of those shades is vegan, but if you're interested in a vegan shade, I'm pretty sure Urban Decay makes a brown 24-7 liner. I'm kind of one of those people who doesn't recommend cheap eyeliners. I just really hate them. I think you can go on the cheap eyeshadow thing, but when it comes to eyeliner, nobody wants like their waterline to be like shredded up and torn up because the eyeliner was too harsh and dry. I'm going to be taking a little bit more Folly. And some of you may already have Folly if you bought the Mickey Contractor palette or the quad. I'm going to be taking Steel of Steel Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. Now 
And I just applied my um, Wet n Wild Mega Wink Mascara. Really heavy on the bottom lashes. Get them as long as I can. Um, don't really worry about getting a whole lot on the tops. So I'm going to be applying a pair of our Dells, number 117s. These have a long, flashy tail at the very end. Also comparable to the number 118s, which are not a far cry remotely. And I'm going to be applying my Kiss Premium Eyelash Glue. This is very inexpensive, way cheaper than Duo, and it contains a lot less chemicals. So I'm really liking this. The applicator is amazing. Let me show you. Really easy. So I'm going to go ahead, put those on, and be right back. Alright, so now that my face powder and such is on, I'm going to take a little bit of Pet Me, which is just this really pinky neutral mineralized blush. I'm going to take my MAC 116, or any other non-domed paddle blusher, brush, and we're going to smile so we know where our cheekbone ends. If you see there's a little bit of a tannish glow, I'm using a little bit of a foundation that is currently too dark for me, which is a great way to contour and get it to look really natural. All right. So we're just going to place our blush right above the contour. So we're going to go in three doses. One right here. I'm going to make it visible so you can see where I placed it. Center of the cheek. Back of the cheek. So darker here, medium here, lighter here as we go towards the face. That way you can apply whatever color you want and the amount you want without it looking freaky. So just make sure you smooth it out. Don't add any more pigment at this point, but just make sure you smooth it out. You don't want it to look like it's um, blush contour. Now I'm going to take a little bit of uh, my MAC Shea Shea Lame and my 224, but you can take any blender, it doesn't have to be this. But I have these products and I just don't want them to like sit and lose pigmentation and not get my money's worth. So I'm just going to place that underneath the eye. If you have an all over metallic shimmery lid, uh, eye look going, a good thing to take would be just like a very close to your skin tone matte shade, but if you're already wearing like a lot of mattes and a reduction of shimmer, a little bit of an iridescent highlight will just be just perfect right about there. You don't want to go too close, too under the eye, because then you'll give yourself that sort of reverse raccoon. I have a huge tendency to dive for these sort of pale pink lip liners. Um, this one was Mac to the Beach. This one was Too Fabulous last year. So whatever one you want. It's slightly darker pink is the Life's a Breeze. And I think I'll go for that one today. So we're just going to go ahead and line our concealed lips. I'm going to take just a very frosty, uh, easygoing, simple lipstick. And that is Max Beach Bound. <laughs> a good dupe for this one is Max Tanorama. You could also take NYX pencil and cottage cheese over um, a pink lip liner and that'll work too. 